All right, you guys, it has been a hot, hot minute since this mama has done full glam. I just got a new set of extensions and I finally got my nails redone today. I just went with white, uh, but this new lady I go to is really awesome and like creative at design. So I had her just put a few jewels on there. Um, but yeah, I popped in my new hair today. You know, took a minute to curl it and I'm feeling like a whole new bitch. What's up? Welcome back to another vlog. You guys, I feel like this entire past month I have just been in workout clothes or PJs. I've really, I haven't been like on social media as much either. I obviously do my normal posting with YouTube, but I've been posting a lot less on Instagram and on Snapchat because first of all, having the puppy is like having a newborn. I've been so busy with that, trying to train her properly and still give Christian enough attention and like mix everything with Christian going to school school and he's in swim lessons and just we have a lot going on right now um, but also I've been a little bit less on social media because I've been finishing up everything to finally launch my podcast here on the 5th of September which I know I mentioned to you guys and I wanted to say thank you so many of you were so excited and told me that you're gonna tune in so I'm like so excited that you guys are excited for that because you never know with YouTube like if your audience will kind of follow you over to another platform and it really is something I've worked hard on and that I'm not gonna be getting paid for at all it's really just like a passion project for me you know you don't really get paid when you just upload podcast episodes but just to know Know that it can help you guys out and provide you some value and some knowledge on certain topics like on your way to work or if you have a long drive or a commute every day just to know that you will tune in really does mean a lot to me um, so yeah, it is officially called The Boss Babe Academy. It will be available on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, all that good stuff, hopefully right on September 5th. I will obviously let you guys know like, you know, a few days in advance, um, but I've been working on that. I also have an assistant, Bianca, who is so sweet and so efficient and such a genuine person and I'm very happy I've been able to like give her some work to help me with that. Um, and then also I've been off social a little bit more and just had my head down because I mentioned really quick, I think I mentioned, did I, in another video, that I'm creating my second course. So with my Girl Boss Academy, I have my Instagram and my YouTube masterclass. Girl, you forgot to blend a little over here, okay? Hold up. <laughs> um, I have my Instagram and my YouTube masterclass, which I offer, but I've always wanted to come out with a course on how to manifest money because that's a topic I love speaking about and I love helping women to change their mindset around money and wealth to be able to attract that into your life. So I've been working on a video course for that, which is has so much value in there. I think you guys will love it and it's the most affordable thing I've ever come out with. So I've been working on that and going along with that course um, is actually an ebook about how to manifest money easily. So I've been just like working working on a lot of things business-wise that I'm just really, really excited for. So yeah, right now it is almost 11.15. Um, Christian's in school. I have to go pick him up here by noon. Um, this morning I got in a quick workout, then I went home and got all glam because I think I'm gonna pre-film a few other videos today. A lot of you have been asking for more Law of Attraction videos, so I think I might film like a sit down about that. Um, but I also did some house hunting this morning while Christian was at school. If you are new to my channel or just passing by or a new follower, I've kind of shared my journey with looking at model homes and just a bunch of different types of homes here within the past month because the condo I currently live in is so overpriced, it's ridiculous. I'm paying definitely more than I would be paying with a mortgage. So it's always been my goal to purchase a home and just be a homeowner really young and just know that I saved up and you know grinded on my business and got out of debt. And um, I've just really been working hard the past few years to save up as well as better my credit to be able to buy a home. So I always try to show you guys if you're new here you can scroll back through the past few months on my channel I show a lot of house tours I've went to go see like a bunch of model homes and stuff um, I'm trying to see if I'm gonna get something built or if I'm gonna get a home which has been previously lived in um, it just all depends on the price and I've also been really upfront with you guys that it's so much harder to get approved when you're self-employed because only very recently did I switch my business into an S Corp so before that the only way I've ever been paid is through 1099s and with um, sponsorships and YouTube you'll have a company pay you like a set fee for a sponsorship one time and you know they put you as an independent contractor so I didn't have W2s for a long time and just all this stuff um, and you know, with self-employed, usually it's a lot better to have 20% down so you don't have to pay monthly PMI insurance. So your girl's been trying to save a hot, hot, like big low, hot big, <laughs> a big portion of money, which I'll be real with you, it's taken me a very, very long time because I've been making good money recently, but I also have a ton of bills. Um, I told you guys I enrolled Christian in tutoring, which is like a grand a month. I have a new car, like a lot of things, which is fine. Like again, those are all payments that I've signed up for, for things that I genuinely want. Um, and now I have two employees, I gotta pay them out. So you know, I'm doing well, but I do have like, you know, a lot of payments. So I have to just save every month what I can. And I've been very excited to, um, you know, when for when I do finally end up having a new home. I'm really hoping for by January, but 
I did want to let you guys know in this video I actually did end up finding like my dream home you may have seen it before I'm not sure if I showed the layout of this one um, it was a model that I went and looked at I went back to look at it again this morning and just fell in love with it over again go ahead sorry guys my neighbor is like pulling in right now um, what was I saying yeah so I officially found like what I would consider my dream home it has granite wood floors super open layout um, and it's pretty comparable to the price that I'm already paying for my condo right now I think I may have walked you guys through a tour of this exact home when I went and saw this model a few months ago so I'll put a little video I'll put a little clip up on the screen so you can go watch that video if you want to see a full inside tour of it they do have some models which are ready to be moved into in a few months um, or they have one that I can build so I really just need to sit down um, with my CPA and find out to the dollar amount exactly how much I have saved up exactly how much I will need to purchase the home and then I'll probably I'm not sure I'm still gonna keep looking I'm not saying that's officially set and that's the one but um, if that is the complex you know you have to choose what street you want to be on if you want to be on a corner figure out all the stuff see about the flooring and the granite and the upgrades and really see like to the dollar amount how much I'm gonna need for a down payment and everything like that but I really think that could be the exact home that we want to move into so just I don't know I'm just gonna be praying about it using the law of attraction manifesting into my life the exact perfect home for me and Christian and it's just it's all just like been really exciting you know over the past few years to know that buying a home has always been my ultimate goal and to see myself get closer and closer to it I don't know it's really cool and I just want to always keep you guys updated so but yeah I do have to run inside here in a minute and feed Sadie let her out and then hustle on over to Christian's school because for once a bitch is not trying to be late just wanted to thank you guys for tuning in to another vlog um, if you are new to my channel anytime you do see flashbacks in the title that just means it's a vlog and this today's video is probably gonna be jumbled up between like clips from a bunch of the past few weeks so the days might like switch in between but yeah I gotta go get Sadie and I'll catch up with you guys hi how was school Tell me about the playground. The playground was so great. What's on the playground? Is there swings? Um, yeah. And what else? And there's a park. Uh-huh. And there's... Um... Hold my hand. A sandbox. Uh-huh. And, and a bike section. Ooh, a bike section. So what did you guys learn in class today? Um... Tell me. Um, raise your hand to speak. Raise your hand to speak. I'm so proud of you. You're such a big boy. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Where are we going? Um, we're going here. Here? What's here? Um, Marshalls? Here. Yeah. I think we're gonna get you some new shoes for school and we're gonna look for some Halloween decor. You ready? Let's do it. So this is what I ended up getting for my little office decor space. I want to just pick up a few little Halloween items at Home Goods. I didn't get too much. I thought this clock was really cool. It's like really spooky. And then I have this little cat. I actually have that guy like year round, but I put it up for Halloween. Got one pumpkin, um, this little trick or treat sign. Christian wanted to get this globe. I need to actually put batteries in there. Um, but I think there's like sparkles and stuff that go around the top. I thought that was really cool. It all just kind of goes with a little Halloween theme. I should probably take these flowers out of the office since they don't really match all the orange stuff, but I just thought that little sign was cute. And then I got this little witch sign. So I do want to hit up a few more home goods and Marshalls and stuff and maybe get a few more like smaller pumpkins to maybe put like here and here. But yeah, I actually just pulled up to therapy. I go to therapy once a week for a full hour. Um, again, I kind of like touched on that before. Uh, again, not for any like anything traumatic that recently happened or anything, just to have someone who's not family or who's not a close friend who I can confide in and get like an unbiased opinion on certain things. Um, because I do, I know I'm pretty happy, uh, like I'm a happy and positive person overall and I'm very aware of the law of attraction and that our thoughts create our reality and I'm very conscious of being in a positive mental space, but there's definitely things that still stress me out and get me overwhelmed just in daily life, just like all of you guys. Um, so it's been really beneficial for me. 
but I wanted to start the vlog in the car because I got here a little bit early and I did pass by my P.O. box. So I did get another order from Scentbird. You guys know I refill my perfume with them so, so, so often. Um, I've mentioned them on my channel for like over two years now. They're incredible. They're one of the companies that has such a bomb concept at such an affordable rate. And you guys know I love talking about things that are on a budget that I know you can afford that will be beneficial for you. I still don't know how this company is able to offer this concept at such a cheap cost, but it's literally amazing. So if you haven't heard of Scentbird or you're new to my channel, they come in these really cute like velvety pouches here. So this is basically just a 30 day supply of perfume. This is the really, really sleek white packaging and then we have my favorite which is actually like the baby pink or like coral kind. You just twist it up and you spray it out and you do have a 30 day supply of perfume in here. What's super cool is they offer all the high end perfumes. So like Flower Beauty, Gucci, uh, Versace, YSL. If you don't wanna go to Sephora and you don't wanna spend 200 bucks on a perfume that you don't even know you're gonna like because it might be a new scent for you, you just go on the Scentbird site and you pick whatever scent that you want they'll fill up this little 30-day um, sample for you and they'll send you this and it's super super cheap I believe it's only 15 through 20 bucks like it's incredible that way you have an entire month to test it out and make sure that you like the scent it goes well um, with like what you're looking for if you want something fruity something spicy something a little sexy you know but you don't want to commit to buying a, a really high cost um, you know because of one perfume bottle that's like one ounce I believe um, for the high-end perfumes can be like between a hundred and two hundred bucks which is insane so I've been obsessed with this I've truly been using their company I want to say coming up on three years it's something I totally believe in and I think the fact that they're able to sell it at such a cheap rate is amazing so I always have a coupon for them I'll link it below definitely definitely check it out and then um, I know that recently they did come out with candles and I believe what was it a body cream I showed that in one of my last vlogs and then recently they came out with makeup so they are carrying now a few different brands we have they sent me over two little uh, things a liquid lipstick and also an eyeliner from Ardency Inn and Kat Bundy so I know they're gonna be carrying makeup products on the site as well I'll link in the description box if you're able to use my coupon code on makeup um, or just on the perfumes but if you haven't tried the perfumes definitely check this out it's been a game changer for me because I just talked in my last vlog about how I spent 200 bucks on a YSL perfume and I didn't end up liking it and I had to go through the hassle of returning it and the Ulta lady you know gave me a big hassle and she was rude as hell to me so this is really really convenient definitely check this out so uh you know it's now 4 59 your girl has one minute to run in and make my session on time and i'll see you guys after where are we and we're at the vet we're at the vet what's up guys it's almost 6 p.m we're here to get sadie's second parvo shot um from what i understand properly after her third one we can take her to like dog parks and like set her down places hi girl um so yeah we're gonna get her second shot today I hope I'm not gonna cry because I don't want to see her in pain, but we got to get it done And we're gonna get some more teething toys because she's always nibbling on our hands Like she doesn't want the current teething toys that we have. She's like very unimpressed So we're gonna get in there and see what they have She knows what's coming so she did really good for her shots I didn't like bust out the camera and film that um, the doctor was super sweet we just picked up a few things so I wanted to show you guys we ended up getting her this Kong harness which is gonna be for when we can finally take her outside after she gets her third parvo shot. It's cool because it's got a little package right here. So you can put like a waste bag in here or I could put like my house key if I'm taking her out on a walk. It clips underneath them and then your actual leash clips on right here. I think it was like 35 bucks. And then I got a slicker brush because I know Golden shed a lot. So I wanna start brushing her every single day just to make sure the shedding is, uh, you know, minimal. And the last thing we got is a small nail clipper from Conair. She's exhausted from walking. We came into Albertsons really quick just to get her a few treats and get her some water. So I found these two so far, premium beef hide, good and fun. These are peanut butter. And then these ones are beef hide as well. <gasps> you smell them, you smell them. Finish the one I got you, girl. I'm not sure what else to get. Leave your recommendations in the comments. I do have some of these like mini bones for her at home. Girl, I am just a mess. But I heard rawhide is not good, but then some of you have commented that rawhide is fine. Chicken breast strips, I'm not sure what to get. Um, I have a bunch of treats at home, but I think these will do for now. So leave your comments down below for next time I go treat shopping. I would love your guys' recommendations for a little golden retriever. You like it? I gave her one of the like peanut butter flavored beef hide ones and she is loving it. You're being so good. Oh, don't let it fall through the cracks, baby girl. You good? You don't need your floaty? So we made it to the pool. It's really hot. We're literally the only people here because literally we're the only crazies. Say hi to Lindsay. This is Lindsay. Hello. 
So the kids are just swimming. We might jump in the pool, but I wanted to introduce you guys to Lincoln. He's only, as of today, right? Four months. Four months as of today. He's so cute. He's like the best baby I've seen in a hot minute. This is Lincoln. I've never seen a baby so happy. We were inside just eating pizza and he was chilling, no crying. Do you even know how cute you are? What does your shirt say? Whales of the world. You only four months and you got some cute style already. Oh, Lynn's that laugh. Aww. He's so precious. <laughs> He's so ticklish on his feet, huh? Aww. Aww, you're just too cute. The baby fever is so real with you. Aww. Hello, little mister. Hello, little mister. I did get a ton of new lashes and all of you have been asking what new brand of lashes I've been using and I have been using Icon for probably the past like I want to say like two months um, I do have a discount for you guys finally I reached out to them and they uh, a while back and they finally hit me up and what's really cool is like most companies will give me like 10 or 15% off their product to give you guys they're giving me 30% off for you so if you're a lash lover like me and you love mink lashes really like thick lashes with a thicker band that are really dramatic you know that those can range between like 30 and 40 bucks so to get 30% off is like very rare so I will leave my discount down below. I'm going to put down below for you guys in my previous few videos what exact style of their lashes I've been wearing because I have got so many snaps and so many DMs of you guys wanting to purchase the lashes that I've been wearing. I was just waiting on the discount code for you. Um, but I want to show you a few of my favorite styles. First off, they have really, really cute packaging. You definitely get what you pay for here. They've got like their little logo there and then the hot pink packaging inside. So we'll go over a few styles. These right here are Marilyn. They're super wispy. I would say they're like medium on the dramatic side. I would actually wear these like as an everyday lash, even though I know that's pretty dramatic for some people, but I just love them. Then we have Taylor. These are a lot more thin and wispy. These are a perfect everyday lash for someone who's new to wearing lashes. The band is really thin, so these are gonna be really, really easy to apply. Then we have Girl Next Door. These are also very wispy and thin, really easy to apply. These are another great beginner lash. So next we have Brooklyn. These are the same like wispy vibe as Girl Next Door, but they're a lot thicker. So they're still pretty easy to apply. The band is pretty thin and it's that same like wispy vibe, but you definitely have more of the actual lash on there. It's a little bit thicker. So if you want something a little bit more intense. So next up we have high maintenance, which are actually the opposite of what the title says. These are the most like low maintenance, easy lashes I've seen. They're beautiful, but they're super simplistic. So if you're a brand new lash wearer, these are gonna be perfect for you. Super thin, super easy band, super easy to pop on. So these next two are definitely a dupe of the Lily Mink Lashes, which are a lot more expensive, but they're so gorgeous. We have Drunken Love and Trophy Wife. This is like the flirty, like wispy vibe, but they are kind of um, in little chunks. So there's a, a, a separation you can definitely tell, and then there'll be like a big chunk of lash. So we have Trophy Wife and Drunken Love. Now if you want the big, crazy lashes in your face that I have been wearing in my past few videos, I love dramatic lashes. These last two styles are my favorite. The first one is Jealous. Again, we've got like that flirty vibe, but there's so much more actually of the lash on this one. It's a lot thicker, a lot more black, a lot more dramatic. Um, even though it's a thicker lash though, I like how the band is not super thick. So it's not tough to get on, the band is not hard. When I've applied them, the band has been super flimsy and just like still very easy to apply and they do not feel heavy, which is a major plus because I've tried tons of lash brands that are made cheap, cheaply and they feel heavy, which is the absolute worst. So Jealous, I've been wearing a lot in my recent videos and I've also been wearing Bad and Bougie. These ones are even more intense. They're a bit longer and a bit thicker. They're kind of the same vibe as the Bad and Bougie, but a little bit longer. So if you're trying to go like super, super crazy, I would say um, Bad and Bougie would be like the most dramatic on their site. So yeah, I've had really good customer service with them so far. Again, I think the packaging is like super cute and I haven't had a company actually offer me 30% off for you guys. I think that's generous and just awesome. So I'm not even sure what my discount code is offhand. Um, before I put up this video, I'll figure it out obviously and I will link it down below. So if you use that code, thank you so much. Genuinely so, so appreciated anytime you guys use my coupons or anything. It really does let these companies know that I believe in the product and I'm helping send business over there. So thank you so much. Um, I know that my lashes have been a huge question lately on my social media. So, you know, go and check them out. Up your lash game. What time is it? Oh gosh, it's 4.41. Christian has tutoring at five. So I'm gonna cut this off. So it's like 6 p.m. I'm just editing this vlog right now, going through a bunch of clips. Um, and I don't think I had an, 
outro or an intro clip everything's like jumbled together from the past few weeks so i wanted to just come on and thank you for watching the vlog i really really do appreciate it i would love if you would follow me on twitter snap and instagram if you want to see like daily shenanigans you know stuff with christian the puppy just wanted to thank you guys for being here um anything i mentioned in the video the scent bird the lashes all that will be linked below i love you i hope you'll subscribe here to my youtube channel and i'll see you guys in the next video